Hey everybody, welcome to this video unboxing my 3-in-1 desktop machine. My name is Keith and today I'm going to show you all about my experiences in unboxing the Creality CP01 and show you some of the test prints that I made. The reason why I chose Creality among other brands is because of its affordability, good reviews and strong community presence where you can discuss all about your experiences within the machine what you like and what you hate so much. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, my Creality CP01. With the growing demands from hobbyists, builders and designers and be able to acquire a desktop 3D printer or a CNC machine, Creality has proven once again that they can meet the demands of their clients. One of the latest products of Creality is the CP01, which I love it. For now, it is not just a 3D printer, but also a laser engraver and a CNC cutting machine. So you get three different functions in just one machine, and for a price that will not hurt your pocket. Uh oh, really? Well, actually, it will not really hurt your pocket. So, the Creality CP01 supports a variety of filaments such as PLA, ABS, TPU, PVA, while for the CNC carving and laser engraving, it supports materials such as wood, paper, PCB, plastic, leather, and so on. While the only drawback is it cannot laser engrave on hard metals such as stainless steel. How's that? <laughs> As the laser power is only less than 0.5 watts. But when it comes to laser engraving on compatible materials such as wood, this machine will not disappoint you. I have tried it myself numerous times with a photo of me, with a photo of my dog and my wife and so on. And the result was really astonishing. I can't argue with that. But, alright, so in this video, I have unboxed my Creality machine to give you an, an idea on what comes with the package when you purchase it. I'm also going to show you on how to install the machine and some of the test prints that I made. Okay, alright, so on to the next. So here are the different parts and accessories of the Creality CP01, starting with base frame. That holds the base, of course. And here's the gantry, which holds your Z axis and the X axis. Next one is CNC bed frame. That is specifically for the engraving. Here's the power cord. Everybody knows that. And here's the printer filament, 200 grams. Thanks, Creality, for sending that out. Laser safety for goggles. Always wear safety active equipment so here's another safety goggles that's the filament holder which holds your printer filament and the different screws cable ties if you want to hold if you want to put everything in, in systematic nozzle cleaner that's the, that is for well this one here is the printer nozzle Sorted wrenches, spatula, that's to remove the piece that you, you, you have 3D printed, R-type clamp, that is to clamp wires, TF card and reader, that's where to store your projects, A and B code clamps, so that's when you clamp your, the piece you are trying to engrave, the pliers, And that's it. So now for the fun part. Let us build. All right, so first we're gonna put the gantry onto the base frame. Now each side requires four combination screws. Again, four combination screws on each side. And take note, don't over tighten the screws because you might end up breaking the threads. So it's, it's not really, you may not follow how I put these things together. So as you can see, I put the whole equipment sideways. So uh, 
um, I just feel comfortable doing that rather than the the other methods of putting things together. So while well, that worked for me, all right. So we have put the base frame and the gantry together, and this one here we're putting the the one of the modules. So this thing here requires three thumb screws. And putting this in, it's just very easy. Again, don't over tighten it because you you will keep on um, changing modules. Like if you want to, to use your 3D printer module, then you're gonna remove the current module, so just don't over tighten it so you won't be having a hard time. So that thing I'm putting is the uh, the decorative belt, which actually hides the, the cables at the back. Alright, so next thing we're putting in is the limit switch. This one here is for the Z-axis. And we're also going to install the limit switch for the x-axis. So what does what the limit switch does is it sends signal onto the controller, telling the controller that it has that the the axis has reached its limit, and then the controller sends the signal back onto the, onto the onto the axis. Right. So. Now we're putting in the data cable onto the module. And the power cord at the back of the machine. And we're gonna power it we're gonna power it on. Okay, it's a good display, right? Okay, we're trying to test the movement of the axis going left and right, forward and backward, up and down, just to make sure that all axes are functioning properly. And this one here is the filament printer, the filament holder. We're putting in two screws. Now I wasn't able to find the screws that came along with it, so I ended up grabbing up my personal stuff. So. Um, Problem solved. So um, here is the printer filament. So now we have placed the filament onto the holder and we're putting in the filament on the tube. Now I forgot to tell you that uh, before putting in the filament onto the tube, cut it on cut it cut the ends in a 45 degree angle. Um, just to make sure that it feeds properly onto the module. Right, so next one is bed leveling. So um, I'll just be silent here because all the instructions are actually in the video. <laughs> all right. So if you have noticed that the tip of the nozzle is not almost touching the bed frame then you can adjust the limit switch um, that way you, you can make the uh, the tip of the nozzle a little nearer to the to the edge of the bed frame Now this is one feature that I, that I like with this machine because the adjusting screws, I mean the adjusting knob is really big so you will really not have a hard time in adjusting the level of your bed frame.
Well, we have here an acrylic piece which was provided by Creality. Um, so what we're doing here is we're setting up the CNC bed frame so we can clamp the the acrylic. So you got four clamps, four screws, nuts, and washers. So you're gonna put those things all together to get the proper to get that proper support onto the piece that you are engraving. Alright, so since we have already finished building our machine, time for the machine to print. And here's one piece that I have created. This one here is a puzzle piece. The dimension is 2 inches by 2 inches. Alright, so there it is. I've showed you what's inside the box when you purchase the Creality CPO one. And for me, it's actually a good machine if you don't want to overwhelm yourself with so much things to install. Plus, you get yourself three machines for a price of one. I would also say, the results of my print are really decent, nice and clean. The things that I like most in this machine is the easy leveling nut, the neat industrial look of the machine, and the power supply protection device which protects your printing process whenever there is an outage. Um, the only thing that I wish they could have provided is an option to have a more powerful laser engraver that can work on hard metals such as stainless steel. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have that. I I called the manufacturer to ask this question, and they sent the the answer straightforward. No, the laser head that I got can support stainless steel. Good thing they are really they are really honest for that on that. <laughs> right, so um, on to my next videos. I'm gonna show you some of the failed prints that I made and how I was able to correct it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you want to share some of your best practices, please teach me. Right. So um, if you also want to subscribe, click on the subscribe button, and I hope to hear more of you soon and see you on to my next video. Alright, so again, this has been Keith, and bye for now.